In my previous episode, I gave you a procedure for identifying all the devices that are currently connected to your router. This is an effective monitoring strategy to make sure that your home Wi-Fi hasn't been hacked. But what if you want to take your monitoring to the next level? Well, you actually have the opportunity to get notified every time a new device connects to your router. This really puts you in the driver's seat and it allows you to take action immediately whenever an unwanted device connects to your home network. So in this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be detailing that procedure you can follow in order to enable these notifications so you get real-time alerts whenever you have an unwanted device connecting to your home network. In order to enable this level of monitoring for your home network, you need a router that has an associated application that allows you to remotely administer the device. The good news is here, most manufacturers at this point in time have developed these applications that go along with their routers so you can do just that. As long as your router isn't too old, you should be able to download an application on your mobile device that allows you to make these settings changes that I'm about to show you. Although the interface might look different depending upon the application or the manufacturer of your router, the general steps for enabling this monitoring will likely be very similar. I have an Archer A7 router made by TP-Link and TP-Link's mobile application is called the Tether application. That's what I'll be using to show you these steps today. All right, here we are on my phone. I've downloaded the Tether application. If you haven't downloaded the mobile application for your router yet, I suggest you do that now. The next thing you'll wanna do is you'll wanna make sure that you establish a connection between this application and your device. You'll likely have to put in the router's administrative username and password, but then you'll be good to go. If you have any questions about how to do that, you can leave a comment down below. But at this point, I'll assume you've already done that and we can move forward with the steps. All right, so we're gonna go into the Tether app. All right, here we are on the Tether app. As you can see, here's my Archer A7 router. What we're looking for here is we're looking to get these notifications enabled. What I have to do is go down here in the lower right, select more. And then from here, it's pretty straightforward. You see this connection alerts header. We connect here, we click that. All right, so on this screen, we have a few different options here. The first is that we get notified every time a new device connects to our home network. In other words, if there's a device that has never before connected to your router, you'll receive a notification whenever that happens. The other option here is if you wanna get notified for a particular known device in your home network, you can turn on notifications for that as well. That's if you have a particular device Say you wanna know every time that it connects or it disconnects from your home network, you can set up notifications for that as well. I would maybe caution against this second option here because what you'll find is you might get a ton of different alerts and that in the security industry is what we call alert fatigue. You'll see all these different alerts on your phone and you'll soon just start to ignore them all. So that way if you get one that you're actually concerned about or an alert that actually matters, you may miss it. So what I would recommend is to start turning on an alert for any new device when it connects to your router, but obviously the choice is yours. You can protect your home network however you'd like to. Okay, for this example to show you how this works, I actually don't have a new device to connect to my router. That's why it says known device alerts are currently on. If we go into this here, you can see the capabilities on, but no devices have been selected yet. So I wanna walk you through the process. I'm gonna pretend that this known device is actually a new device, and we're going to turn on notifications every time that device connects to our home network. Okay, so we have known device alerts turned on, but because we don't have any devices selected or identified to get notified about, we won't receive any notifications. So we need to add a device here. So what we wanna do, add a device. These are all the devices that are currently connected to my home network. We're going to select this Amazon device here, select next. And what we wanna do, we wanna be notified when that device is online. So when it connects to our router, we don't really care when it's disconnected to the router. And then we wanna receive push notifications on our mobile device. 
I don't really want to receive emails because I wouldn't see those in a timely manner. So we'll leave it at push notifications for now. And then we'll go ahead and select done. All right, so at this point, notifications should be set up. So what I can do now, if I disconnect and reconnect this device to my home network, you will see that I'll actually get a push notification for it. All right, and here we are. We got a notification saying this device connected to our router. This is exactly what we wanna see, especially if this is a new device that has never connected to our home network before. So then I can go and investigate and find out exactly what that device is. Just as an aside here, one thing you can do whenever you have a new device connecting to your router, once you investigate that device and you figure out what that device is, you can actually go and potentially rename it depending upon the application you have. So that way you can easily identify it and recognize what that device is. So I'm going to go to the home page, back to where I was. We're going to go to my devices, Archer A7. Here are the 10 clients that are online. That Amazon device, let's say I investigated it. I figured out what it is. It's an Amazon Fire. So for this device name, we're just gonna change it to Amazon Fire. Done. And that way, anytime you look at the list of clients connected to your router, you'll see that that Amazon Fire is connected and you'll know exactly what that device is. You know you don't have anything to worry about. Another fun thing here is you can go in and change the icon depending upon what that device is. It just gives you another opportunity to further classify that device. Using this strategy can give you a sense of security when it comes to your home network. You'll have a list of known devices that you know are trusted devices that are connecting to your home network, and you'll get notified every time there's a new device that's added. Whenever that new device is added, you can go in, you can change the name of the device, change the icon so you clearly understand what that device is. So that way you have no surprises when it comes to unwanted devices in your home. When it comes to protecting your home network, one point I have to hammer home, because I can't help myself, is that the best way to protect your home Wi-Fi networks is to use a password that you can't easily guess. Make sure that you're using a password that you know, but it's complex enough that a random person can't randomly guess what that password is and get unwanted access to your home network. If you have any questions about this information, please drop a comment below. If you found this video useful or you think this is a viable strategy for monitoring your home network, please give it a like. That way more people will get to see this video and become aware of the benefits of this strategy as well. Also, if you like the content that I'm putting out on my channel, I invite you to subscribe and come along for the ride. I have plenty more tips and tricks that I'm going to be sharing here in the near future. And as always, thanks for watching this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.